Hello, Hollywood. Hello guys and welcome to Dubai International Airport and this Dantorp review of Lufthansa's A340-600 new business class. Um, I have a cold today which is so ridiculous since I went on vacation to a warm country. at the sea. Now Lufthansa configures their business class cabin with two, two, two. So there's six seats across. Thank you. But it looks beautiful when you board uh, and the colors are just so sleek. Um, so you're greeted with a nice hefty pillow, a big blanket, um, which will take away. Yeah, that's perfect. So they have, um, they put the seat numbers right here, which is a nice touch so you can really be certain which seat you're at. And then down here I saw, I just shut this by mistake. Um, you open it up and you have your amenity kit, a little bottle of water, and then here there's another sort of storage area with the in-flight magazines, just I think the life vest is down there. Then here on the side we have a remote control which can be ejected like this and just is really easy to control and use. Um, Actually, this seat is slightly different uh, since it's a bulkhead seat. And here you can see what the normal seats look like. So, um, there's just a slight difference in the storage area. What does it say? Stow headphones. Okay, and down here we have the headphones, which is quite a good location. Um, and then we have the armrest here which can be, if you push this button down, it should, yeah. If you push that button down, it goes down however much you want it to. Um, this is really a nice, hefty cover, I have to say. And then, here for the leg room, I have plenty of room to stretch out. I wanna, I'll take off my shoes straight away. So yeah, there, as you see, I have quite a bit of room above my feet. Um, room to stretch out under here, over there if I want. Uh, then there's a little glass, wow this is actually pretty cool, there's a little glass um, hook here and a coat hook. And then up here, you're not allowed to stow um, stuff during takeoff and landing, but I think you can keep just little cameras and stuff like I have here, or a baby bassinet as they have. <laughs> and I love this little touch for Christmas. Then for the headrest, we have here a little reading light, which has one mode, it looks like, um, but can be adjusted. <laughs> and we have the headrest, which again can't be adjusted on the side, but it can be pushed up and down. You can be really tall here, perfect for basketball players. And also, although it's nice having a, um, what should we call it, a like area here, where you can put stuff. Something like this. 
It's also pretty comfortable to be right next to the window and not have to even stretch to look out, just be able to sit here. And even though they've blocked this window area, um, they've made sure that doesn't affect the seat. So it's right between these two seats. The crew just came around and served pre-departure beverages. Um, and I took a glass of orange juice. There we go. Now let's just have a look. The amenity kit is from Reis and Bell. Reis, Reis and Bell, something like that. These are the contents of the Lufthansa Business Class amenity kit. Firstly, we have a toothbrush, the same type we got in a premium and premium economy, if I recall. Um, perfectly fine, nice little kit. Again, plastic bag like this. And then we have these uh, beauty products, which is another little product from Coors. And here's this little booklet about them. And then lastly included is, no, this is not lastly, but we have a little information about the company that made the kit. Um, which looks pretty authentic. And it's nice that it's from Munich when you have a Munich destined flight. And I love how they package these little things that makes it look like you're getting a Christmas gift. And here they have um, headset covers, eye mask, earplugs, and socks. We have the armrest, and I wanted to show that down here, there are two power ports. This is so comfortable. You can really feel the space and the relaxation. And it's just wonderful, guys. As you can see, the offering of lavatory amenities was extremely impressive, among the best I've ever seen. So let's have a quick look over the menu for today's flight. It's big, looks very nice. I love the design. So they welcome you on board with this nice little warm welcome, as they call it. And on today's flight, interestingly, they're gonna have a uh, a breakfast, a small snack right after takeoff and a meal before landing, which is the opposite to what I've usually seen. So that's fun to see. Um, we'll have a look at what that is later, I guess. This all looks great. 
another really great thing about Lufthansa is that almost their entire fleet offers pretty cheap uh, and very fast Wi-Fi. So let's have a look here. There's a few details, it knows our destination. Oh, that's pretty good. So if you use PayPal to pay, you get a 24 hour pass for just 12 euros, which is insanely cheap for unlimited internet access on board. Here's without PayPal, it costs 17 euros for 24 hours. 4 hours, 14 euros, and 1 hour, 9 euros, so you're obviously gonna win from buying this 24 hour pass, uh, which is even cheaper than the 4 hour pass, ironically. Here we have it, you're on. Just the countries you fly over to get from Dubai to Europe make it worth the trip. Look how beautiful. these headphones so much I sold my QC25s and bought these. If you're ever gonna fly Lufthansa business class which I definitely would recommend. It's so funny I felt stupid in the beginning because I was trying to press here to navigate but apparently all you need to do is swipe like this. Let's see if I, <laughs> let's see if I can get it to work. Here you swipe any way you want to go uh, and then just press the middle button to select. Firstly, the, instead of coming through the gal, coming through the cabin uh, with the duty-free card, they just asked us if there's anything we'd like from the duty-free. Came up to every person, asked that, so they didn't really disturb anyone with the noise of the trolley. They've been coming through the cabin several times, asking us if we want anything, refills, drinks, and I feel so pampered, so taken care of. So here is the seat in lounge mode. And now we're going to take it down to bed mode. 
flat bed mode. I made it up myself because I don't know if Lufthansa offered turnaround service, but I haven't seen it so far. So let's try it out. So as you can see there, there was plenty of leg room I can lie on my, my side or just straight up on my back. Look super comfortable due to the um, camera angle, but I am so comfy here. It's completely flat. I have just plenty of room, and I also feel like I definitely have a good amount of privacy thanks to this uh, sort of screen in the middle, which means even if uh, I didn't have the look of having an empty seat next to me, I would still get a good night's sleep on a longer flight. The wonderful flight attendant who was serving my uh, my cabin just insisted that I try a glass of champagne. So here we have it, looking beautiful and bubbly. It's a little mid-flight snack, orange juice, and some nougat crackers with chocolate, which look really good. A little more champagne and some walnuts to start. The appetizer, Arabic mez, means uh, a few different uh, compotes or salads here. Um, and some bread. I got a pretzel and a cheese covered uh, and a piece of bread. These cute little salt and pepper shakers and champagne over here. And here we have a little salad after the starter. This is the main course, the tandoori chicken with rice, mushrooms, and grilled vegetables. Here is the dessert, all of it. We have the fruit, the panna cotta, which looks uh, a lot like a soap I use, but is probably delicious as the rest of the food has been. Some crackers, some bread, and cheese. So as the flight gradually began to come to an end, it was time to bid farewell to probably the best flight attendant I've ever had and the other wonderful flight attendants. You'll see a crew photo with them here any second. The service on this flight was just mind-blowing. The food was nice, though nothing super memorable, and I was actually surprised by how good the seat was. I really, really enjoyed it. It was very comfortable. And overall, the flight was a 9 out of 10. The service, I always say, does so, so much to make a flight good. And today, I left the airplane smiling my heart out. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please make sure to hit the subscribe button because I upload videos three times a week now on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So you want to make sure you never miss those. You can find all my social media in the description so you never miss an update. And until I see you guys next time, fly safe.